Yo, what up everyone? My name is Jennifer and I am Waitress. In today's video, I'd like to tell you a story. Uh, I have deemed it from a credible source. So let us begin. There's a waitress and she's busy. So think of just balls to the wall, busy, okay? You are separating a 14 tops individual checks, none of which have drank alcohol, so you know what that bill looks like. Uh, you are triple sat, okay? And you have a two top. And you have the manager run the food to make sure they're okay because you know that you're really busy and you would like someone to have a, uh, to touch base with them. Okay, got it? You there? Okay, now let's say that that two top is so mad at you for your service that they pull you over and complain. And not only do they complain, but uh, number one, my big pet peeve, they don't look you in the eye when they complain. They uh, just kind of look around. Number two, they call you uh, an effing stupid waitress. This is the worst effing service I've ever got. When the server tries to apologize, they say, Tsunne, I don't want you to apologize to me. And then continues to scream and yell. Not screaming, yelling. But, you know, anger was swearing. Okay, so now your manager gets involved because really you're still too busy to be listening to this. You still have things to do, okay? The manager listens, quells, and gives a gift certificate to come back to have a better experience. My issue is not with the bad service, although bad service is never a good thing, but... Who do you want returning to your restaurant? One, two, who is worth giving a gift certificate to? Three, does everyone need to be happy and at what cost? Okay, so I have a website, it's IamWaitress.com. Uh, not wildly successful, okay, so I tried to do a lot of research on how to make it successful. And the big thing they say is, Know your audience or who you want as your audience and then focus your attention on them. Seems really logical to me. I want to help restaurant managers and servers. Okay, well, anyway, this isn't about me. So with restaurants, who do you want? Who do you want as your customer? Okay, do you want someone who is going to swear and yell at your server, whether it's warranted or not. The best server, I'm sorry, the best manager that I've ever met says this, if it won't fly in my house, it won't fly in my restaurant. So I think he's just talking about basic civility. So imagine you have a dinner party at your house and someone chews out your daughter, okay? I know that the server isn't your daughter, but you are responsible for them. And the second part of this, I'd like to say, own up to that responsibility. If you have people under you who look to you for support, for guidance, you cannot shit on them by taking the side of the person that's being extremely rude. You can't. That person, in my opinion, should not have gotten a gift certificate but been put on the 86 list. Don't pay the bill, fine, go. Because this isn't the kind of person that we want in our restaurant. And the next time they come back, uh, I don't know, it, what do you think, okay? Maybe you think that a gift certificate is a really good idea. Maybe you think that the server shouldn't be supported. Maybe you think that it's okay to speak like that to another person. If you do think that. Okay. All right. Leave a comment. You're the best. Uh, have a great day. Have a great shift. And uh, that's it. Okay. Thanks.